Gents, I just want to pause the episode for a moment to let you know about the Strong Men of Value Academy. You will have heard me refer to it a number of times and I want to bring more attention to it. So this isn't just a program. It's a life-changing environment and community of men who are focused on personal and professional growth. We're looking at areas of relationships, wealth and health, things to help you thrive and maximize your life. Imagine having bi-monthly one-on-one coaching sessions with myself, weekly group coaching calls, and an incredible brotherhood of high achievers by your side. Now we're diving into resilience, leadership, and holistic growth to not just succeed in your career, but to thrive in your health and your relationships. Your journey to greatness, it starts here. So join the movement and you can apply for the Strong Men of Value Academy. You can head to the manthatcanproject.com to find out more. You're listening to The Man That Can Project with Lockie Stewart, a global movement created to empower men and open up what's really going through their minds by having real and raw conversations about life's unique challenges and our individual ways of processing it all. Welcome to The Man That Can Project. Welcome back, guys, to another episode, and thank you for tuning in. I know I've cut back on the uh, episodes at the moment. Uh, there is a lot of stuff happening. For those who've been following along on the socials, you'll see um, I'm re- working really hard toward uh, making an online platform available. So it'll be uh, six modules, 36 lessons, uh, and I'm putting a lot of effort into making it an incredible experience and an incredible program for all of you who are, uh, you know, end up, you know, getting getting involved with that because it's going to take you through some of the most powerful stuff I have learned and I also teach. I'm also excited to be able to, to you know, put it out there for you guys in a, in a way that you can make it self-paced and also guys from all around the world can have access to it because at the moment that's where I'm really getting stuck is that time. It's It's hard and obviously also with COVID, it's starting to, it's fucking things up, you know, with events we've just had in Brisbane, we've just been told all events are back to 10 people, no more than 10 people, which is frustrating because the foundation's workshop's coming up, but we adapt, right? We, we continue to move forward, life happens, and we can either sit there and complain or we can fucking do something about it. So we're doing something about it. <clears throat> but what I want to talk about today, it really clicked for me I think it was last Wednesday or Thursday when I was meditating, not being able to switch off, right, is something that I used to say a ton, absolute, I would say into the hundreds of times that I would have said that I can't switch off, meditation is not for me, I can't slow my mind down, I just can't seem to you know, slow my mind and I it, it popped up because when I was in a meditation the other day, for whatever reason, I just remembered saying it to myself and I also remember a client that that week said it to me and I always used to just sort of really empathize and sympathize with people and go yeah fair enough you know it is what it is but then I realized I was like that's me not holding someone to a new standard that's me allowing them to get away with their own excuse because it's a skill to you know slow your mind down it's a skill to learn to be present because over the years we've all found ways to distract ourselves we've all found ways to always be focused on the future. And that's where a lot of us are living. Right? And I know full well, so many of us are wanting to be in the present. We're wanting to enjoy what we've got right now. But it's like when we're, you know, for you, those of you who are listening to this right now, you might be thinking of, thinking of something coming up, right? You might be thinking about, hey, I'm going to the gym. That'll be awesome. That'll be brilliant. And when you get to the gym, you're thinking about the next thing. You're never actually being present. I can 100% relate to that. I've been guilty of doing that. And what's really important about this is, you know, meditation to me allows us to practice the art of being present, right? It allows us to work on slowing down because if you continue to allow yourself to believe the bullshit that I I just can't slow my mind down, then how are you ever going to learn to be present? If it's something that you know you want to do, right? If your thoughts are racing around, if you're feeling anxious, if you can't focus, Right? If you don't feel like you're being present in that moment, then the one thing you need to learn is how to slow your mind down. So yes, at this point in time, you may not be able to slow your mind 
granted. It's like someone who goes into the gym for the first time and you would say, hey, do a you know, 5K row. They may not be able to do the 5K row on the first session. I guarantee you in six months' time they will be if that's what they're training for. So you need to start thinking about what are these specific things that you can do. Right? What are things that you can do to slow your mind down? Meditation is one of them. What about just focusing on your breath? Like breathing in. And when you breathe in, just say one in your head, obviously. And when you exhale, two. And you just one, two. Every time you exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You just focus on the breath. Right, that's learning to slow you down, slow your mind down. Meditation, right? Jumping in a cold bath is a good way to uh, really make yourself learn to be present. Because when you're in that that moment and you start to freak out, you don't. Everything else goes out the window. The only thing that's going on is, hey, fuck! I need to get out of this. But if you can learn to can slow your breathing and control yourself, you learn to realize that, hey, maybe I can control my mind. Maybe I do have more power of my own thoughts and I first thought and the moment that we give ourselves a glimpse that that's possible right the moment that we experience it for the first time the moment that we go hmm I just blew my own bullshit belief out the window I actually did just control my thoughts even if it was for a moment then maybe just maybe I can continue doing this and over a you know, consistent sustained period of time I'll have better control than I do right now I'll be able to be more present in six months' time than I am right now because I'm practicing it. I'm intentional with it. It's like anything, guys. But one thing, and it, literally, I've been meditating on and off for four years, right? Five years. And it literally only just clicked the other day that I've also been enabling people to believe their own bullshit excuses by going, okay, that's fair enough. Let's Let's try the next exercise rather than realizing that hey it's just something you have to learn like everything else if it's the outcome is what you want you want to slow your mind down then put the fucking work in that's what it takes one you have to acknowledge that hey i've been using excuses for far too long and allowing myself to believe that i can't you know can't slow my mind down i can't meditate i can't sit still and if you're in that mindset you're never going to be able to do it like everything, when we start taking responsibility, we start taking ownership, it's possible to create change. It's possible to create a different outcome. It's possible to take ownership for your thoughts. And the moment that you have ownership of your thoughts, right, is the moment that you are more intentional and can create better behaviors, which can create better outcomes for you. So I personally believe it's a fucking worthwhile investment of your time. It's five minutes a day. If it's 10 minutes a day or if you go harder than that, awesome. Be my guest. But just start small and don't fall for the bullshit excuse that you can't do it. That's just the lazy man's option and we don't tolerate lazy men here. So thank you guys for tuning in. And once again, if you're not already in the uh, Man That Can Project's Facebook group, love to have you in there. Please join in and uh, if you, for those who are following along from the Instagram last week, I'm giving away a book. Uh, it's going to be drawn this Friday, so make sure you definitely jump on there and uh, have a read through what has to happen in order to get your vote in and uh, be able to, to be available for it. So have a great day, guys, and I'll chat to you all very soon. Thank you for listening to the Man That Can Project podcast. My name is Lockie Stewart. And I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful. If you did, please take a moment to rate and review the Man That Can Project on your favorite podcast platform. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our newest episodes. We'll see you again next time.